Monique Amelia here, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you some of the projects I made in the last three months or so. Um, because I realized that a lot of my proje projects that I'm making, they are not uh, getting on my channel. So uh, sometimes I'm sharing with you fabrics that I get, uh, for example, fabrics I'm buying or fabrics from uh, Minerva. But in the end, I never share or almost never share my finished projects here. I do have um, a profile on uh, Minerva.com and there I have, there I share almost all my projects, even if they are not made with uh, Minerva fabrics. So uh, I'll put a link in the des description, maybe if you'd like uh, to see them. But uh, today in this video, I'm going to uh, show you a few of the projects I made. They are not all, I made more. But these ones are since um, December last year, the end of the year and until now. Um, the problem is that I have, uh, I very often I'm sewing uh, things that they are still in testing and I cannot share them. Um, and on Minerva you see things that uh, they are still yet to be um, getting on the test uh, phase, but I do get them uh, beforehand, especially from designer Stitch and is so uh, friendly <laughs> to give me some really cool patterns that I uh, get to make them uh, beforehand. So uh, to get to my projects, they are in the order is not the order that I saw them, so I'm, I did just put them here. So I'm going to show uh, to you uh, a few uh, of the things that I made. I'm going to start with uh, this shirt. This is um, a shirt made in, uh, you see I forgot, I'm going to put here next to me, I'm going to put uh, the uh, pictures with me modeling the the, the projects or the, the things I made and you can see how they are fitting me and stuff and I'm going to put links in the description from of everything that uh, I'm showing you here today maybe with fabrics and stuff if you if it's something that you'd like to have so this uh, shirt this is a Patrones shirt from Patrones magazine uh, you see in the picture here I think or here somewhere you see uh, a little bit uh, uh, more uh, detail but uh, this one is made with Patrones. I cannot remember which issue it was. Um, it's made in a cotton, in a cotton loan. And of course, I cannot really remember exactly what is the name. I'm going to put it uh, in text here on the screen. But it's a really uh, cool shirt. It has um, is a kind of a raglan sleeve cut in one with a center seam here in the back. And it has some really cool gathers uh, on the lower back. Some deep cuffs. There is something wrong with the cuffs in the original pattern. I had to make them much smaller because they're really, really wide. And in the end, although I like this blouse very, very much, I mean, the cotton is really nice and soft. The problem is that uh, uh, there was also a problem with the color in this pattern. So the color is kind of big. I'm thinking maybe just wearing it. Uh, I did wear it uh, a few times under a, uh, a um, wool jumper. It was really nice, but uh, I, I find the color that is just a little bit too big. It's not really uh, fitting me. So, but because this, this fabric is really nice, I'm still going to to wear it and uh, enjoy it. So this is uh, a cotton shirt from uh, Patrones. I'm going to put it to the side. Um, the next pattern is, um, or the next thing I made is this uh, blouse. This is uh, coming very soon um, out. It's a designer stitch pattern, it's the Genevieve top. And uh, I made this previously, you see, uh, I'll put a link here in the description. Um, I made it also in a cotton. Again, I cannot remember exactly the, the, the brand of, the, of that cotton, but it's a really nice one that is also on Minerva. But this one is a polyester crepe and, um, and has, uh, is offering also a dress version. And I think there is going to be also a sleeve without these uh, really fun uh, ties. So a little bit more casual, just a straight sleeve that you could uh, roll up with a button sleeve and uh, in this version uh, the original has two pleats in the back and just because this fabric is so sweet I um, I uh, gathered the the extra fabric that it was in the pleats I gathered it in the um, in the in the back yoke 
so I think it's really really nice it has a nice uh, curved hem and you are seeing you saw me wearing this uh, in the previous video from the reveal of the uh, McCall's 7842 the previous video you know I'm wearing this uh, this blouse so this is this is a really nice one I really like this one and it's also fun to make with the pleat here in the front and uh, these plackets here so another another top uh, the next one and I'm going to take them in a little bit different order let's see uh, yes first I need to show you this one uh, this one is um, this you really you have to see the pictures here this is the um, uh, what is called this is the Whitney dress from uh, designer stitch it's a really cool dress uh, this is the longest uh, length of the pattern and it's really cool it has uh, a ribbed neck line here oh did I smooch my lips Thick, not. So uh, this has a, a really nice uh, ribbed uh, collar, which you are getting to see back in the sleeves, and it's a really fun dress. I must stop doing this because my microphone is here. So uh, this is the original uh, pattern, the Whitney dress from Designer Stitch. There is also, of course, the possibility to make it as um, as a blouse. And because I had a piece of fabric, really cool piece of fabric, from uh, Minerva, this cotton silk one, uh, this is a um, Lady McElroy, if I'm saying correctly, uh, fabric is a gorgeous fabric, it's so soft and so... And even if it's so uh, light, it did so really, really well. I mean, I was expecting a lot of stretching out and a lot of craziness, but it didn't happen. But this blouse, and you see my pictures here somewhere, uh, this blouse is um, a kind of a hack of, of the Whitney blouse from Designer Stitch. I hate the word hack. But um, I made it, um, let me see, I added in the back I added some extra uh, fabric to uh, give me some uh, uh, gathers. I also changed the, the neckline is the same as per original pattern with a, with a zip here in the front with an invisible zipper. And I added a rectangle of fabric to make a really nice uh, bow. And I hope Anne promised me that she'll make some pieces for you to have it if somebody wants to make this and I'll make a sew along when I get the patterns from her because it's a really really nice uh, version for the Whitney blouse um, and for the sleeves I just gathered them in uh, some uh, cuffs this is some ribbing I was thinking that it will take a top like this a little bit more casual you know from a fancy uh, silk top but this fabric it was really a dream to, to sew and actually is really really nice to wear it is very very soft against my skin so a hack of the uh, Whitney dress from uh, designer stitch uh, the next um, and I'm I'm almost done the next one that I want to show you is uh, my Caroline pajamas uh, probably you saw here on the channel uh, just a little tutorial about the um, uh, how I made the piping on this uh, for this um, make um, but this is the finished one and you see it here in the pictures I really enjoy making this one the cotton is really nice it's also this is also a uh, Lady uh, McElroy from uh, Minerva and uh, it's a it's a really fun fabric to use and to sew and to wear it's really really nice and of course the pants I remember I made this uh, pattern, I didn't make it, I did trace it years ago and I was thinking that it's such a big trouble to make all that piping and stuff and I remember that I traced only the fashion that it will not need any piping and any details but in the end I did not get around to make that uh, that uh, traced pattern and I had, I did even cut it in fabric but I have to throw it away after years because it wouldn't fit me anymore that size but this one is fitting me really really nice 
it has even the pockets it's completely with everything on it and um, I enjoyed also sewing this uh, this pattern and it's really not difficult the only thing that I hated in this uh, in this pattern was the big seam allowance on the um, on the collar and also the big seam allowance the five eighths of an inch on the sleeves I mean uh, especially on the color five eighths of an inch seam allowance made it really unnecessary difficult to sew that color I mean it, with a six millimeter seam allowance it's so easy to make and actually there is there is really no need for such a big seam allowance because there is no fitting there that you say okay I'll use that seam allowance to fit my color or something so for the next time I'll um, uh, take a little bit of the seam allowances on the neckline and on the um, sleeve you know and on the bodice sleeve hole um, so the Caroline pyjama, also nice, also fabric from Minerva. This one is also fabric from Minerva and I really love this one. This is the... Um, I don't think I can put it on with, with this dress. It's kind of funky because the sleeves are short and they are bunching. Yeah, I have all my sleeves there here up. But this one, this uh, this wool, this is an, um, a knitted wool also from Minerva. It's so soft and so nice, and I was really attracted by the color, of course. But when I got it, it was like, oh my god, what I'm going to do with this? Because it's a really, it's a pretty strong color. So um, I had it uh, for a while in my stash, and I knew that I had to make it. Um, as a part of the Minerva brand uh, ambassador so uh, at the moment came the Marnie cardigan pattern from uh, Sew Over It and as a pattern insider I got a little bit uh, early to make it and I jumped right into it I said yes I want to make that because I have the perfect fabric and it was this one and actually it worked really really nice what I changed on this one was to add um, center back seam and I just uh, uh, cut the uh, back with the seam allowance, with 5 inch seam allowance, only to give me the possibility to top stitch then uh, the side seam on uh, both sides, you know, to top stitch it open, open to get a little bit of, um, how should I say, of an interest, to get a little bit of interest in the back, because otherwise it's really plain. And I remember, I do have all my notes on the Minerva uh, blog, but I remember that I did some top stitching here and there also to flatten a little bit the, the, the seam allowances because you know it, it's a wool it's it's not really thick but um, top stitching helped to to give it a little bit of um, how should I say as you can see ignore please because I have here my my sleeves that they are under completely bunched um, so this was the Marnie cardigan, uh, of course, because this is an unlined garment, I had to be a little bit careful how it will look from the inside. You can see here the, the top stitched uh, seam allowances in the back. And the only uh, thing that it was a little bit uh, challenging in this one was, uh, again, to trim very carefully all, all the seam allowances that they are coming here from uh, the, the pockets that are stitched in together with the rest of the bodies so you get here quite a few uh, seam allowances but I think the great thing about wool is that with uh, a lot of steam and heat uh, it's getting really soft and nice to work with the, now I have uh, I have two garments more this one you don't need to see this one <laughs> and this is my pressing hem and this is uh, nothing so I have here two garments more to show you. I'm going to leave the black one for the end. Uh, this fabric I showed it to you uh, in a previous uh, video from this dress. Uh, this is a uh, Robert Kaufman uh, cotton poplin, I think, also from, um, uh, from Minerva. And uh, I was thinking to make like a long dress or something like that. And in the end, I made this dress. You see the pictures on the side here. Um, is a Knip Mode magazine pattern, it, which is really, really nice. It has uh, a lot of details, this pattern, um, but uh, it's really a pity that they used in the magazine, they made it uh, in a really 
crazy fabric it's like shiny it's a denim with two sides on side is, is one side denim and the other side is really shiny and it's also not really fitted uh, well fitted on the on the model and you know if you don't see the technical drawing you don't want to make it but it has really cool details it's, uh, it's a shirt dress it has a really cool um, armhole I don't know if you can see that oops it has a really cool armhole uh, it has a waistband and is a is a partial uh, opening here in the front is not held uh, completely to the hem but again you can see this uh, better on the, on my uh, on my pictures where it's modeled and another uh, cool uh, detail uh, next to the fact that it has such a, a strange and cool armhole so it's like very angular it's not rounded like a typical armhole it has this sleeve we sleeve which is uh, fitted which is fitted in the from the shoulder almost to the um, elbow I think or a little bit higher yes and for the rest is like a, it's a piece of fabric that is getting gathered and then is closing with a nice um, a slit with with a cuff it's a really fun fun project was this one to make and of course it has pockets yes pockets so yes a clip molded dress in a Robert Kaufman um, cotton poplin and I am almost, almost uh, coming till the end on the end of my projects uh, for today and if you are watching my videos you probably saw this fabric too in that video for Minerva or with fabrics from Minerva and it was it was um, um, fake fur with a really short uh, a pile oh I need to talk about, a little bit about my, the dress I'm wearing because this is also one of uh, the fabrics that I, get, I got in the same period and I just made it recently so this dress I don't uh, this dress this coat I don't want to close it because otherwise you are going to my microphone is here somewhere so this is um, this is another clip powder magazine uh, pattern is a really uh, it's a really nice one and they made it uh, uh, in the magazine I think it's also in a wool or that was a similar pattern but also in this one there is that uh, really cool uh, um, angular uh, uh, armhole and the sleeves they are a little bit wide I was thinking at the moment to put like um, one of these snaps to make it um, tighter but I think I like I like the shape like this I added uh, pockets in this one because the original pattern didn't have pockets and I didn't want any patch pockets on this fabric of course and um, they have on the original they have uh, there is a button placket or something like this but I did not want to have that in this fabric I just uh, make it uh, made it in one piece till the center front with an extension and then I just saw the um, uh, the snaps it was a lot of sewing sewing these things can you see that you can see the fabric like this also <clears throat> something else that it was with this fabric and I'm getting already really warm now um, it was not uh, possible to press it so because of that I could not use any fusible interfacing let me see if I can put this one to I could not use any fusible interfacing so I um, did uh, a few uh, tests um, I'm just take it off because it's really warm I did uh, do a few uh, tests pressing tests on uh, on pieces of fabric and um, I padded I used a piece of what I have had over op, on my uh, uh, pressing table and tried to, to to fuse you know because when I'm sewing uh, things with uh, with a pile or something like that I'm uh, always covering the um, my pressing table with the same fabric to give it a little bit I don't know that it will not flatten so much so I tried with this one but it really didn't work so in the end I used some um, uh, rayon some soft fabric 
to interface a little bit the facing of the f of, uh, of this coat and it worked really really nice but again it had to be uh, sewn uh, by hand and uh, also there is a quite a bit of uh, hand sewing in this coat because I also um, uh, tacked all the seam allowances open again I could not press a lot to press them flat so uh, and I also of course I added a really fun lining this was really this was really fun to make and it's a really nice coat it feels really luxury and stuff you know again the fabric is also this is also a John Caldor I think uh, fall fur from Minerva and I'm going to put a link uh, also in the description for for this one I really love the the texture of this yeah it's really nice you see that oh it's gorgeous and uh, I am almost done I have this dress I'm going to pop some pictures here. This is the Flora dress from Fiber Mood. Yes, I have a lot of Fiber Mood uh, magazines and this was the, my first pattern to make. Um, actually, the coat I wanted to make it uh, also in a Fiber Mood pattern, but uh, I realized in the last moment that my fabric is not going to be wide enough to use it for that pattern. So um, I, made, uh, I made that coat. But this one, this is an art gallery uh, cotton poplin, I think, also from Minerva. And uh, so is the floral dress. Uh, the sizing is, I don't know anymore, the, de the details are on my Minerva uh, um, profile. But um, it's, it's an, I don't know, I don't know. I like the dress very much. I don't know if it really suits me. Um, the fabric is gorgeous. I like all this yellow that is almost like golden. You see that? And it was fun to make all the snaps. And I have even the welt pockets on the dress. Fun to make and all this, of course, all the gathers in the back also. A lot of gathers. I hate gathering, but I used for this why I used my serger and that worked really, really well. That was fun to make. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think I like the dress and I think because now we have sun outside in my studio is getting really, really fast, very, very warm. I think they are now 22 degrees. So I guess I'm going to enjoy this dress very much in the summer. Well, the last project that I just finished a few weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, is my chair. I'm going to put uh, some pictures because you, I cannot lift it up. But uh, in my video about the fabric uh, from Minerva that I got, uh, you know, at the moment, um, I was uh, showing you this canvas and I was talking that I'm going to cover my chair with it. And uh, I was hoping to get a little bit more done from that fabric, but actually it, it, all the three meters I had, it went in this chair and I did not really pay attention for uh, uh, pattern matching or stuff like that. But it was just enough. I have just a little bit piece. And um, it was a really fun project to make. I just uh, um, opened it and then I used the cover that it was on the chair. I used it. <clears throat> first of all, I did uh, pre-wash the fabric because I noticed that uh, first I wanted to press it to see if it's shrinking. And <clears throat> I'm always, almost always I'm pre-washing fabric. Depends uh, the fur, for example, I did not pre-wash it. But um, to be sure to see if a fabric is shrinking, if I uh, want to see that beforehand, I put the fabric on my ironing board and then with uh, the um, iron, if I give a lot of steam, I don't even need to press it, then I can immediately see if the fabric, if, if I'm watching like this, I can see if the fabric starting to, to crease a little bit and that means that it's, it's going to shrink. So I did the same with this canvas and I had to wash it. I didn't let it dry, I think I did not put it in the dryer. But um, after that, uh, it was only a matter of uh, taking off the cover from the chair. It was not really easy. There are also some uh, zippers that were in the original cover. And I reused those in my uh, cover. Um, the, here in the, in the back here, there is also some padding. And I had uh, something here in my stash and I used it also. But it was really fun to do and there is also top stitching everywhere and then later when it was done it was the moment to put it back again. And oh and uh, I did um, take 
apart the old cover and I uh, put it, uh, numbers in every on every seam you know to know that one is going to one and two to two and so on and that was my way to find my way to put it back together because there were really a lot of uh, small pieces that I did not expect actually so yes I'm really really happy with my chair it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really nice to have it here in my studio now before it was grey, dark grey, I hate it but now I love it, it's very comfortable also these were my <laughs> projects, there are quite a few again uh, they are the projects uh, in the last three months or something and I do plan to keep uh, up with the projects I'm making at least one time a month uh, again there will not always be so many because again I'm making things that I cannot share immediately so I don't know there will not be so many <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and you enjoyed seeing my uh, last uh, makes uh, if you want to see more details I'll put the links here uh, or to the Minerva blog or Minerva website where I have my profile there and, there and I'm sharing a lot of pictures and a lot of information about the things I'm making. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are interested in seeing more videos from me. Also give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!